We're now joined on the set by the USF Vice President and Director of Athletics, Michael Kelly. Michael, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to join us tonight. Now, you and I, we met about a year ago, I believe, on a trolley here in Newport. A full year has gone by. What was your biggest takeaway from year one at USF? Oh, it was just so exciting to be back at USF. I was associate AD there 16 years ago under Leroy Selman, and to, to come back and be re, uh, reconnected with our fan base and to uh, kind of fall back into trying to fulfill some of his vision has been uh, just really exciting and very pl pleased with the uh, progress we're making. No offense to Tampa, I'll take Newport in the summer. In, in the summer, oh, in the summer. Yeah, 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 I'll give you Tampa during the rest <laughs> of the year. Uh, look, your timing is impeccable. I got to slip in a little basketball here. USF basketball, by the way, is going to be on the rise this season in the American. I think they're going to the NCAA tournament. So your timing is great. In terms of scheduling to take the football program to that next step, to be in position like we've seen with UCF, how difficult has it been to do that at a school like USF, maybe your previous time, and now as the person in charge? You know, we've been very aggressive in our football scheduling, both uh, back when I was here, we were making the transition to Division One back in 2001, and, and I remember uh, beating Pitt, and in our history, we've had great wins at Auburn, at Notre Dame. So our, our short 22-year history as a football program has been built by big wins. And so this past year that I've been here, we've, we've rearranged a, an agreement with Florida where they're coming to our place. Uh, we've got Alabama coming to our place. We've got Miami coming to our place. So we've Ooh, got you got Alabama coming to your place. We do. How'd we you do. figure that? How'd you get that one? Well, it was uh, it was it's just just great to kind of get all those those games matched up. We've got ten. Um, we we played fifteen teams from the ACC or the SEC over the course of the next ten years. Uh, we know it's important for our conference and it's important for us. Our kids want to play them. Coach Strong wants to play them. And uh, it's important for our conference to have another opportunity to beat those kind of guys and, and put us in best position for the playoff and ultimately for the New Year's Six Bowl game. And if I can follow here, the rivalry that has been there, um, you know, the USF-UCF rivalry, what can that do, not just for each school, but for this conference and for the greater good of college football? Oh, I love it. This whole war on I-4 is really big. Obviously, UCF has done an amazing job the last couple of years, and it's our, it's our job to kind of get back up and, and get to where we where we once once were. We, we lead the overall series with them 6-4, to four, but they've gotten us the last two years in some really great games. But uh, that's great. I think it, it is the American uh, rivalry, and, and that's uh, what we want to do. We, I think we, both schools take that, uh, take that responsibility proudly, and, and uh, we'll continue to grow that rivalry. You lead the series six to four, but who's counting, right? That's right. <laughs> not, not me. No. When you talk about non-conference scheduling, that's one aspect of the football season. But when you look inside the American Conference, a schedule that is set out each year, how competitive is this league, and how tough is it just to win the East Division? Oh, it's tremendous. You know, we, with all the success we've had as a history, we've yet to win the East yeah. Division. We have won our last five teams against the so-called Power Five, and we've lost our last five games in the American. <laughs> so imagine that. So it just kind of show, goes to show how competitive we are as, as a conference and particularly in our division. Yeah. All right. So we're set on Newport from May to Labor Day, Tampa. <laughs> we go Tampa, Labor Day to Memorial Day. We're all right? Deal. That? That's okay. the way it should Fair be. Enough. That's a good life. I could live that life. That's, you kind of do live that life. <laughs> so 